Hey, what is up, people of the internet? I'm the Russian Sniper, and this is some Battlefield 4 back in the Little Bird on Parasol Storm. It was the kind of only map available for me to play that time that had a Little Bird. I always have the maps with the Little Birds checked, so I always try to make an effort in playing the maps I really love playing. More reason, just because it's always got a Little Bird on. I mean, there is a ton of really cool maps, but you only have Little Birds in them on Small, on Conquest Small, so sadly for me, I'm stuck to a number of maps that have little birds on Conquest Large. But even so, uh, I went back into CTE and I was trying to play the map, the, the community map that was making. And it just wasn't there. And I'm thinking, what's going on here? Where's that map? I looked here, I couldn't find it anywhere. And I thought, oh, yeah, here it is, probably here. And I end up joining and it's another map that they're making. So it goes to show that they're doing something with Battlefield 4. No, they're trying to keep it alive until... Uh, Star Wars Battlefront is going to be out. Battlefront is going to be out on November the 17th. Uh, but there's also going to be a beta at some point throughout the summer. So that's something that you, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are looking forward to. Just getting and testing the game and trying it out. And I know this is a sort of good time of the year for a lot of people to go on holidays. And you go and have a bit of fun with your family and your friends and stuff like that. Myself, I'm going to Turkey this year and it's going to be the first week of September going for nine days, eight days, nine days. I don't know, how they, come on man, how the fuck I didn't get that guy? That was a perfect landing right on his face and didn't get the kill. Eh, I guess I just blame the net code, blame the net code, that's what we do. When you get something that's not working or it doesn't work in your favor, just always blame the net code, that's the way to do it. Uh, so it's going to be Turkey for me this year. I'm going to go for, it, it's eight days, nine nights, nine nights, eight days. I don't even get it how it works. The missus knows all about that. She's got it all covered. So I don't really have to worry myself with things like that. And I can just get back onto the battlefield a little bit, play it a bit and have a bit of fun. And just see what's going on, you know, before we say farewell to battlefield. Because as I mentioned, Star Wars Battlefront will be coming out. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will move in. We're going to be moving to that, but it's kind of painful for me to sort of play Battlefield again. Especially that this is like my first round back in months. I've not literally played Battlefield in months. And it's like, I see guys on the ground and I think, yep, that's an easy kill. I just go ahead and pick him up. Uh, just pick him off and then that's that. And I'm like, oh no, I can't hit him. Why can I not hit him? Why can I not hit this guy? Why can I not kill him? It's like, come on. And it's uh, always frustrating to get back into the game sort of in your head. You know the game, you know what you're supposed to do, you see the targets like, yep, he's dead. But then again you sort of straight you sort of strafe around in the little bird and he's like, No, I can't just I can't just can't get him. Why am I not getting him? Why am I not dead on accurate when I'm trying to kill him? Like that's kind of frustrating when you get back into a game that you're not played in a while, but still it's still fun to get back on the battlefield and play a little bit. I mean I know they had the problems, I know it's been a hell of a ride for Battlefield 4 and I really hope that they learn a little bit more about it because these days, I mean, it, it, it doesn't really matter anymore what you think as a community. I've noticed that unless you ask kiss, as the word goes, unless you go ahead and just say, oh man, amazing game, devs, I love you, you're so awesome. You know, they don't really give a shit about you anymore. They, they're just going to put a game out that's half a game with tons of DLCs and that's it, pay for it, and then that's that. I mean, look at Battlefield Hardline. It's struggling with a thousand people on PC. Nobody's playing. The Criminal Hardline DLC or whatever, it was delayed. It was bugged as shit. And did they do anything? Nah, fuck it. Here's have, have a battle pack, man. Well, bro, I paid real money to get my game and my DLC and my whatever. Where's my DLC in the sort of due time? Yeah. Have a battle pack, bro, or have a double XP. We don't really give a shit about it. We've got your money now anyway, so why not? Kind of, that's kind of the way games are going these days, and it's kind of sad to see the gaming industry going that way, but hey, what can you do? I mean, look at Batman. Fuck, Batman was a mess when he came out on PC. I mean, I don't know if it's been fixed yet. I've not tried it yet. But it's been a complete, complete mess when it came out, and I really don't understand these companies, man. Who the fuck limits it? a game in 2015 to 30 fps it's just it's just one of them things that you, you think about and you think well, okay well you must have outsourced the game to another company let them do the pc port for you or whatever and then you think surely somebody from your company would have come back and said yeah is the game done yep cool awesome here's the money uh let's go ahead and test it and play it a little bit and see if it works 
You know, you think that'd be the case, but nope, you got it done. Yep, shoot, sweet. Yep, post it. Yep, ship it out. That's it. It's done. And not really. And it kind of doesn't work for him. But the problem is there's not really much you can do about it, you know. You can get a refund. You can get certain things. But these things will only continue to happen because it's the people buying the games. If you keep buying games and you keep buying alphas and you keep buying that sort of shit then it's only going to keep going that way and we don't really have nobody to blame but ourselves or the people that buy them. That's kind of the way it is and I hope that's not going to be the case with Star Wars Battlefront. I really do hope the Battlefront is going to be a really good game and it's gonna, we're going to play it for months and months, maybe a year or two until they announce Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 5 surely it's going to be announced next year because uh, most of the games that we sort of wanted from DICE, they've been already announced or we have uh, Mirror's Edge which is coming out next year it's going to be a February game was it February or March or something like that I think February the 23rd if I remember correctly so it's going to be a game there's nothing really coming out at that time of the year so you just go ahead and bring it out at that time of the year because you don't want to compete with anybody else since you're only bringing out a parkour game where you just run around and you don't want to compete with anybody who's got multiplayer games and stuff like that and it makes good sense sale wise but I'm pretty sure that come E3 2016, Battlefield 5 will be unveiled and they'll have a little trailer and they'll have stuff like that. Maybe you'll actually see a demo then, but I'm sure before that we'll get to see a Battlefield 5 coming up. And hopefully they'll be done with all the CTE feedback and everything like that and they would have figured out what's going on with the ticket rates and f refresh and the frostbite engine and whatever the issues are. They should be fixed by that stage because we don't want a Bad Company 3 or a Battlefield 5 to be with the same problems that we had before. And we do want a lot of fixes. There's tons and tons of things that they still need to fix. And luckily for me, I didn't go fishing just then. I thought that that was it. But hey, uh, I don't know how that missed. Come on, man. They should. You boys should have been down, but nope. I guess. Yeah, blame the netcode again. That's what you do. You always blame the netcode. When something don't work, you always blame the netcode. And one of the other things I don't want to forget before we uh, end the video here is I'd like to see Bad Company 3 or Battlefield 5, whatever they're going to announce. It's going to be one of them announced next year. Go back to a skill-based game. You know, I've mentioned this a little bit in the previous video I did was Heroes and Generals. So if you want to check that out, it's going to be there at the end of the video. But I've mentioned that quite a few times. It needs to go back to a skill game, you know, where... Your skill mattered. It's not just OP guns and this and that. It has to go back to being what it was. You know, Battlefield was built on being a skill-based game. Was built on teamwork. Was built on communication with your squads. Was built on you making the right decision and having your team and having your squad in the right place and having a guy with a beacon in the right place. I mean, if you played Rush and especially like in Battlefield 3, if you put a beacon down behind the enemy lines where your team can always spawn, you know, it always made good sense for you to have that. And I really hope that's going to come back into the next Battlefield game. So, yeah, that's it for me for today. If you're looking to get a cheap game, check out the link in the description. There's a link to my G2A page. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. If you have, give it a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next one.